Welcome to Chibuzo Math Physics. In today's video, we shall be dealing with the equation of the line. Find the equation of the line. Assuming that you are given us the slope and uh, maybe the point and you have to find other equations. How do you do that? This is one of those basic math and it is based on demand uh, that I've decided to do this video. So let's jump into it. Uh, things to pay attention to when you are asked to find the equation of the line you are simply need to identify the slope uh, the, num the second step would be uh, after identifying the, the slope you need to identify the point uh, then substitute the values into the point slope form uh, that would be given the change in uh, y divided by the change in x uh, use the equation of the straight line that is y is equal to mx plus c and then you are good to go so let's uh, see how we can find the equation of the line enjoy it my name is gala gas Our equation a straight line passes through the point point D and point E so point D is given by 6 and uh, 3 point D is uh, 6 3 and point E is a uh, 3 comma negative 2 so we are to find the equation we are to find the equation of the line so we know that we are going to use uh, our formula y is equals to mx plus c. But then uh, we also need to find the slope and y intercept of the line from the graph. Of course, uh, the point have shown us that the line we pass uh, through negative 2. We have negative 2 and 3. Uh, these are the y intercept. So we have uh, our formula change in y will be divided by change in x. This will simply mean y1 uh, minus y2 divided by y x1 uh, minus x2. That is simply the change in why that, that is if we are looking for this formula so then now let's just substitute our values and if we do that the y1 is 3 uh we have 3 minus y2 which is negative 2 so negative negative this will become positive 2 uh divided by x1 which is 6 uh 6 minus x2 which is 3 uh, this will simply be 5 over 3 because uh, if you put in your calculator you simply 6 minus 3 6 minus 3 is uh, 3 so that is 5 over 3 and that uh, will be the change in y so now Take this value and now substitute with this given equation. Uh, we know that y is equal to mx plus c. Here we've got the uh, 5 over 3. We've got 5. We've got 5 over 3. 5 over 3. So this implies that our y will be equals to 5 over 3x plus c 5 over 3x plus c so what exactly is y now we need to find this constant c we need to find this constant c this will imply that uh, y in this equation yeah, let's use the first equation uh, the first point we were given 6 and 3 so if we use 6 uh, it will mean that 3 uh, is our y so it is 3 is equals to 5 over um, 3 x what is x x is uh, in this uh, 
uh, point 0.1 that is point D X is 6 so multiply by 6 uh, plus 6 we want C so 3 is equals to 5 by 3 multiply by 6 that will give you 5 so 5 over 3 multiply by 6 is 10 so this is 10 plus C so C will be equal to 10 uh, minus minus 3 because when we take this 3 to this side it becomes negative so C is given by 7 putting it back to our equation we have Y uh, is equal to uh, 5 uh, over 3x plus 7 plus 7 so therefore we can conclude that the equation of this line the equation of this line that passes through point uh, 6 3 3 and negative 2 is y is equals to 5 over 3 x plus 7 and this is how we find the equation of the line just a recap what did we say in the beginning when you are asked to find the equation of the line uh, what you need to do is to find an equation of the line giving the slope and the y-axis so find uh, that slope and get those points as they will help you uh, using the uh, gradient formula uh, that is the equation of the straight line so find an equation of the line giving those two points uh, when you do that, you need to also find an equation of a line perpendicular to a given line so that you will use the formula we use change in y, change in y by changing x, that is delta uh, y by delta x. Uh, this will help you to substitute your value y1 minus y2 and divide this by y x1 uh, minus x2 you can even use y2 minus y1 but then it means that uh, the denominator will be x2 minus uh, x1 and through this you substitute the value you get in the equation that we have the equation of the straight line put it to represent m now put the y uh, when you put the y value, uh, you try to multiply each term in order to get c. And once you have the value of c, that will be your equation of the straight line. Like you have 5 over 3x plus 7. Enjoy. Hope you have enjoyed this video. See you in our next video. Galagash.